Hi guys! Today I will show to you how to measure, how to know how many loops to start your project with, and at the same time, how to close your end of your project. For example, you're making scarf, or you you need to close after you're done, it's long enough, and you know you need to close it. I will show to you that, and also how to, if you're knitting sweater, you end up to the shoulder line, you need to close it, it's enough, it's, it's shoulder is wide enough and long enough, you need to close, you will need to know how to close it. Now, well, that's what I want to show to you. Now, well, let's start from rules of closing, because it's already here, this piece, I need to close that. This sample, little sample, what I make for your measurements to explain to you, before I start explaining measurements. Well, uh, you remember in a video about knitting tools, I told you about the safety pins, what you use to put your project on. That's exactly how it's look like. Now, in order to continue our project, we will need to take our job back on a needle. That's how it's done. Taking off your safety pin and put back on your needle. But you can continue knitting. Try don't lose of it, nothing of it, pay attention. Why do you need to storage that on the pins like that? In between jobs, if you know you're not gonna get a, to your knitting project before next weekend, in order to not lose none of it, what this will not run, you will need to get this of needles because of, from needles unless it's a safe and nobody around to mess with your knitting project you can leave it on a on a needle like that and stick in your in your yarn and it's going to be safe like that but if you're not sure about it that's when you those uh, those pins come handy and not mention you always use them for certain patterns sometimes some patterns uh, request to skip one row of knitting before you get continue that no well that's what it, it is for to put a put aside three depend on the pattern to put aside three or more of them or you know, loops but it's still not gonna run all the way down and here we go i already explained to you in different video how to knit that now it's just about uh, how to close your job Let's see. I try to make it as close to you as possible to your camera. Again, you pick up first loop. We never, we never do nothing with first loop. You know that much. We never do nothing with first loop. That's a rule. You just took it on another pin. Now, that's a rule when you, we continue. Well, when we close, it's different. We start to close from very first one. You go like that, pick up two of them, first one and second one, run through, put it back. Again, pick up first one, second one, run through, put it back. Let me make a few more and show to you what's coming. I do it intentionally very slow, but you can understand better and see my movements better. See what's going on? You get a nice bread going on right here, breathing to close it. Let me do a little bit more, but you can see it better. And jab off your needle. You're finishing. It's going to be on the table pretty soon. You're done. That's how you're closing it. It's kind of wrong angle for me to knit. I like my elbows be down what I knit when I'm sitting on a, on a, in a chair or on a bed. But right now I'm behind a table. That's why I'm kind of slow. But for you, slow is good because you can see my movements, how it goes. Here we are. 
this is more as 100 years old table and we are exercising in a in doing and learning centuries old art knitting when you got to your last one you have only two left here on your needle on your left needle what you do if you're right-handed of course you run it again one more loop through it and now you end up with the last one make sure it's a big one put your needle aside you don't need it anymore and uh, i forgot my scissors no well let me see <clears throat> Let me get two scissors. Trimming scissors, cut at your yarn, and run inside this loop. Inside like that. You're done. You can snap off your... This is your sample. Every time you be, before you begin your project, you make this kind of sample. How big it's supposed to be? Well, I will guess at least uh, maybe 25, 30, uh, 30 uh, loops you have to put it uh, when you start it. And how much you go up, uh, probably at least three, three and a half inches. Why? Because, uh, well, it's give you good uh, sample on, a, on a, how many loops, uh, if you make two small sample, you're counting on the loops, how many loops going in one inch, uh, going to be not accurate. And the same, if your, your sample is too short this way, the same story, it depends what, what yarn you use, how, how easy it stretch, your measurement will, will be a little bit off. And if you got with off measurements again, don't worry, because later on I will show to you how to, to adjust your measurements as you go, without taking on the parts whole job. Well, but anyway, that's how you do. You make a little sample like that. I'm talking about maybe five, six inches on about three and a half, four inches, uh, four inches uh, up. And what you do, you put your measurement tape. Okay. You measure, this is about six inches what I have. Okay. And uh, you know how many loops you got to start it. I forgot how many loops I got here. Let me count now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and plus first and last one, it's 11 couples, which is 22 in my case, 22 loops. To count how many inches going in, uh, how many loops going in, in, in each inch, I have to divide the amount of loops what I, what I got here, which is in my case 22, divided on uh, how many inches wide it's produced for me. Well, it's uh, almost six inches. I will not count that quarter. I will go for six inches. What you do, you divide your 22 on the six, okay? And yes, you're gonna come up with not a whole number. You'll come up with uh, something after, uh, after comma. Keep it. And then uh, keep that number on the side. And then, for example, you're knitting scarf. And you know how wide you want your scarf to be. Well, probably like at least 12 inches. I will suggest 13. Depend how thick your yarn will be. If it will be wider as 13 inches, your scarf, it's probably will be too bulky. No, well, uh, let's see 13 inches. 13 inches, that's your desire width of your scarf 13 inches you do know by that number what you put on the side how many loops with this type of yarn and with this type of pattern going in each inch no well you multiply you multiply you multiply that number what you put aside on number of inches what you desire the weight on your scarf and come up with certain amount of loops and start doing it just like i showed to you come up with those beginning grow and so on and choose your pattern and uh, when you're doing this sample for your measurements make sure you're doing with exact sample exactly with that pattern what you're gonna 
uh, have on your project because if you, different pattern, different width, because different amount of loops in each in each, in each inch, because uh, different like for example this sample I have. See with this kind of pattern, it's the same amount of loops what I started with. Provide this kind of width. With this kind of pattern, it's already much wider. It means you have to do your sample with exact pattern what you already choose for your project. And if it's a, if it's scarf, you just go by inches of width of the scarf. If it's a, if it's head, you go around, uh, you measure inches around your head. That's going to be your width of your head when you, you when you need it on the two needles because we'll be stitching seam on the back somewhere. And if it's sweater or vest, you measure your size around hips because that's going to be widest part of it. And you will go need from uh, from bottom to top vest or sweater. You measure your size around hips and divide it on two because you do you you need front sweater and back sweater separated. And start from back always because front always it's two pieces on the sweater. One is on the left, one right, because it's some kind of clothing supposed to be hook up. And uh, well, start from back, because in that case, it's easy to count. And all the diameter on the hips, what you count, divide on the two. That's going to be half of your, what you put on the back. You, you row up, you make that first row of those loops, what you need to start back. And they just going up. And how... How far you go, that's another video I will explain to you. But uh, that was my sample, and I showed you how to close it. This is how nice it's come up with closing. And, uh, well, that's how you do. When you make make uh, anything, even small object, what you're working on, neat, uh, neat hat or neat scarf, you, your sample should be no less as this size, what I suggest you, which is about 6 inches on about 3, 3.5 inches. Thank you guys for watching and uh, much more videos coming. Make sure you subscribe and uh, push that bell button bell what you will know what when new videos coming. Thank you much.